Hello everyone, my name is Tetege KFC Richard. Welcome to my online class. Today our discussion on calculus will be on integration. And we are going to talk about integration involving partial fraction. This will be a very interesting one. We learn how to do uh, integration by using simple integration rule. Please, if you have not watched that video, go to YouTube and check out the video. We also learn how to integrate by substitution. All these videos are up for grab on YouTube. Please, I indulge you to check it out. Today, our interest will be on integration involving partial fractions. Please, this uh, video will be very, very necessary in the sense that when we have integration that involves partial fraction, we need to first resolve the ingredient function as a partial fraction before we integrate. This will be a very interesting engagement. So I indulge you to watch the video till the end. Okay, so we look at our first question. It says evaluate the integral of 3x plus 7 over x minus 1, uh, x plus 4. Now, if you can do this using simple integration rule. Neither can you do this using uh, integration by substitution. So the best thing to do is by resolving this into partial fractions. So we'll pull this out and resolve into partial fractions. Please, if you don't know how to resolve fractions into partial fractions, I indulge you to check out my videos on how to do that. So we have 3x plus 7 over x minus 1. Okay, then x plus 4. Since the two factors are linear, we say that this should be equivalent to a over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 4. That's partial fraction. We resolve it. So we call this type 1 of the partial fraction. Now what do we do? We can say that our 3s plus 7 over s minus 1, then s plus 4 will be equivalent to the LCM here. will be s minus 1, s plus 4. So if this goes here, it will be this. So we say a bracket, s plus 4, plus b. When this divides this, we'll be left with that. So that will be x minus 1. So you can see that the denominators are the same. We can equate the numerator. So we can say 3x plus 7 is equal to a bracket x plus 4 plus b x minus 1. So what do we do to find the value of a and b? First, you see, we let x to be equal to negative 4. When we substitute negative 4, when we substitute negative 4 here, 84 plus 4 will be 0. Then the a will, will be 0. Then we can find the value of b. So let's do that. So 3 into bracket negative 4. In place of s, we put negative 4. Plus 7 will be equal to a negative 4 plus 4 plus b negative 4 minus 1. So 3 times negative 4 will be negative 12 plus 7. And to be equal to a negative 4 plus 4 is 0 plus b negative 4 minus 1 will be negative 5. Negative 12 plus 7 is negative 5. This will be 0 and negative 5b. We divide both sides by negative 5. Our b will be 1. Now we we'll let x to be equal to 1. Then we can find a. So we say let x to be equal to 1. So we have 3 times 1. In place of x, we'll put 1. So 3 times 1 plus 7 will be equal to a into bracket 1 plus 4 plus b bracket 1 minus 1. So we have 3 times 1 is 3 plus 7, that will be 10 equal to 1 plus 4 is 5. So we'll get 5a here. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 times b will be 0. So our a, on the divide both sides our a will be equal to 2. Then we can say that this, look at this, 3x plus 7 over this, in place of a, we put 2, then in place of b, we put 1. So we can say our 3x plus 7 over x minus 1, x plus 4, is equivalent to 2 over x minus 1, then plus 1 over x plus Four, please, here is 4. S plus 4. So now we have resolved this 
into this. So we just integrate this to get the integral of this function. So we can say that the integral of this 3s plus 7 over s minus 1 s plus 4 ds equal to the integral of this since this is that. We have 2 over s minus 1 plus 1 over s plus 4 ds. So you can integrate this 10 by 10. So we can say the integral of 2 over s minus 1 dx plus the integral of 1 over s plus 4 ds. So we can pull this out, this constant out. So we can, can get 2 out, the integral of 1 over s minus 1 dx plus the integral of 1 over s plus 4 dx. So remember the integration of this will be nothing but lean x minus 1. Please check out my videos on integration by substitution to get that. So we get 2 lean absolute value of s minus 1. Then plus this will also be lean absolute value of s plus 4. Then plus our constant of integration. See this is lean. We can rewrite this as lean absolute value of s minus 1 squared plus lean absolute value of s plus 4 then plus c this is logarithm and remember the law of log when two logs are adding with a common base we can just multiply them so we can rewrite this as lean s minus 1 squared times s plus 4 then plus our constant of integration then this becomes the integral of this function i hope you get that We'll solve another example so that you'll be abreast with it. So, there is a second question. We say, evaluate this. 5s plus 4 over s minus 1 bracket s plus 2 all square. Now, how do we solve this? You need to resolve this into partial fraction. Remember, there is a linear factor here and a repeated factor. So, how do we solve that? So, we have 5s plus 4 all over s minus 1. Then s plus 2 squared. Please check out my video on how to resolve into partial fraction. This will be equivalent to a over the linear factor, then plus b over 1 of the repeated, then plus c over the whole repeated like this. That's how we resolve into partial fraction. Now we'll find the LCM of this side. So we can say 5s plus 4 over s minus 1 s plus 2 squared will be equivalent to the LCM will be this will be that so we we'll have s minus 1 then s plus 2 squared if this device is will be left with us we we'll say a bracket s plus 2 squared plus b into bracket when this goes here it will be left with one of this and that so we can say s minus 1 then s plus 2 then plus c when this divide is into middle with that so we say c into bracket x minus one so since the denominators are the same we can include the numerator so you can say five s plus four is equal to a into bracket s plus two square plus b into bracket s minus one s plus two then plus c into bracket s minus one So first, we we'll let s to be equal to 1. Look at it. When s is 1, we substitute. So 5, in place of s, we put 1. 5 times 1 plus 4 to be equal to a bracket 1 plus 2 square, then plus b bracket 1 minus 1, then 1 plus 2, then plus c bracket 1 minus 1. Any place we see s, we put 1. So 5 times 1 is... 5 plus 4 will be 9, will be equal to 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 squared will be 9, so A. See, 1 minus 1 is 0, so the whole of that will be 0. 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 times C will be 0, so we'll be left with this. So our A will be equal to 9 divided by 9 is 1. So our A is 1. Now we let 
So here, when we let s is equal to 1, so we let s to be equal to, look at this, negative 2, to get the other value. So we say 5 into bracket, negative 2 plus 4 will be equal to a into bracket negative 2 plus 2 squared plus b into bracket negative 2 plus negative 2 minus 1, yeah. Then negative 2 minus plus 2, then plus c into bracket negative 2 minus 1. Please bear with me. Let me write it well. So negative 2 minus 1, then negative 2 plus 2, then plus c into bracket negative 2 minus 1. So in place of s, we put negative 2. 5 times negative 2, that will be negative 10. Negative 10 plus 4 will be negative 6. And to be equi equivalent or equal to negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 squared 0 times a will be 0. So the whole of this will be 0. Negative 2 plus 2 here is 0. So the whole of that will be 0. Negative 2 minus 1 will be negative 3. Times c will be minus 3c. So we find our c by dividing both sides by 3. c will be equal to 2. Now we find a. We find a. We can let s to be equal to 0 or any other value. So in place of x, we put 0 here. So we get 5 times 0 plus 4 equal to a into bracket 0 plus 2 all square then plus b into bracket 0 minus 1 0 plus 2 plus c into bracket 0 minus 1. So 5 times 0 is 0 plus 4 will be 4 equal to 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So we get 4a. 0 minus 1. That will be negative 1. 0 plus 2 will be 2. Then plus c into bracket. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So what are we getting? We get 4 equal to 4a minus 2b minus c. So since we know the value of c to be 2 and the value of a to be 1, we can find our b. So now let's find our value of b. Since we know a and c, we just substitute. So our 4 will be equal to 4 times 1 for the a minus 2b. Then our c is 2. So 4 will be equal to, this is 4, minus 2 minus 2b. So our 4 is equal, 4 minus 2 is 2, minus 2b. So we transpose. So our 4 minus 2 will be equal to negative 2b. 2 will be equal to negative 2b. So our b will be negative 1. So we know a to be 1, b to be equal to negative 1, and c to be equal to 2. So we can say that our 5x, our function 5x plus 4, all over x minus 1 and x plus 2 squared, will be equivalent to 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x plus 2 then plus 2 over x plus 2 squared. Thus, I'm just substituting the value of a, b, and c here since we, we solve it. So now we can say that the integral of 5x plus 4 over x minus 1 and s plus 2 squared ds will be equal to the integral of this 1 over s minus 1 minus 1 over s plus 2 plus 2 over s plus 2 squared dx. So remember, we just integrate this term by term. We integrate this, integrate this, and integrate it. Then we get the integral of this function. So we, we learned that this is the same as that. So we integrate this 10 by 10. So we can say this will be the integral of 1 over x minus 1 dx minus the integral of 1 over x plus 2 dx then plus the integral of 2 over x plus 2 all square dx. Remember the integral of this will be lean x minus 1 the integral of this will be lean s plus 2 out of this. Out of this. How do we integrate that? So we pull this out 
and integrate. How do we integrate that? We just let u to be equal to this. We we'll integrate this using integration by substitution. Please check out my videos on integration by substitution on YouTube. So we say u is equal to x. We let u to be equal to that. So we differentiate the u over dx will be equal to 1. The differential of s is 1. The differential of 2 is 0. So we make our du be equal to dx. We cross multiply. Now we can say that the integration of, see, we can pull this out to write it 2 out 1 over s plus 2 all squared ds will be equal to 2, the integral of 1 over, what is s plus 2? s plus 2 is u. So u squared. Then what's our ds? Is du. We substitute. Now, how do we, how do we integrate this? We can rewrite that as u is to the negative 2 du. So remember integration rule. We add 1 and divide the function by the result. So we get 2 u exponent negative 1 plus negative 2 plus 1 will be negative 1. So we divide that by negative 1. The result plus our constant. Or we least, let's leave it for the meantime. So this will be equal to negative 2. Then I can bring this down to become positive. So over u. We so have negative 2 over u as the integral of this. Now we substitute u. We say our u should be x plus 2. So this will be equal to negative 2. In place of u, we put our x plus 2. So now we know the integral of this to be negative 2 over x plus 2. We just substitute to get the integral of the whole function. So we said the integral of this is lean of that, then this is lean of that, and we solve the integral of this to be this. So we just have to do. So the integration of this will be lean absolute value of x minus 1 minus lean absolute value of x plus 2. Then this will be, remember it will be negative 2 over x plus 2, then plus our constant of integration. So remember this is lean, we can rewrite it. When two logarithms are subtracted with a common base, we divide. So lean s minus 1 all over s plus 2 minus 2 over s plus 2 plus c. C, we have a common base. We have a common uh, denominator. So we can rewrite it as lean s minus 1 minus 2 all over s plus 2 then okay no it can't work like that since the lean is affecting this so this will just be our integration of this function this function this it can't work like that as i was thinking because this is lean of the whole thing so I, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. We'll solve one more question on this so that if you are abreast with the concepts. Okay. So we we'll solve our third question. This look at it. This is a very interesting one. So please, anytime two fractions are divided, okay, and the degree of this is equal to the degree of that, you need to first divide to get. A quotient plus the remainder over the divisor before you integrate. So it's very, very before you resolve the other part into partial fraction. Then after that you integrate. Then also if the power here, the degree here is greater than this, it's improper. So you need to first divide. So what we will do is that we we'll use this divisor to divide the dividend to get a quotient. Then we take it from there. So now let's do the, the division. So we we'll put our dividend here, s squared minus 5s plus 7. Then the divisor here, s squared minus 5s plus 6. Please check out my videos on how to divide these functions. So if this goes here, it will be 1. s squared times 1 will be s squared. 
negative five x times one will be minus five x. Then six times one will be six. Then we subtract. This from this will be zero. Minus five x minus five x will be zero. Uh, minus five x minus negative five x will be zero. Then seven minus six will be one. So the remainder is one, and the quotient is also one. So we can say that if x squared minus 5x plus 7 is being divided by x squared minus 5x plus 6, we are going to get a quotient of 1 plus a remainder over the divisor. That's x squared minus 5x plus 6. So now we can resolve this into partial fraction. Then we add it to the 1. After that, we integrate Okay, so let's resolve this part into partial fraction. So let's solve this first. So this will be 1 over how to solve this quadratic function. So two factors, the factors of 6 we get, we get, we add, we get negative 5. We multiply, we get 6. So we get x squared, that will be negative 2 and negative 3. Minus 2x, minus 3x, okay? Then plus 6. Now we can resolve this 1 over 1. S, we factor S out, we get S minus 2. Then minus 3 out, S minus 2. Okay, so this will become 1 over S minus 3, then S minus 2. Now we can resolve this into partial fraction as being equivalent to A over S minus 3. Then plus b over s minus 2. How do we do again? 1 over s minus 3. s minus 2 will be equivalent to we have s minus 3 and s minus 2. So if this goes here, it will be with s minus 2. Then plus b, if this goes here, it will be s minus 3. So since the denominators are the same, we can say 1 is equal to a bracket s minus 2 plus b bracket s minus 3. So now we let s to be equal to 2 to find b. So any place you see s, we put 2. So 1 will be equal to a 2 minus 2 plus b 2 minus 3. So 2 minus 2 is 0 times a will be 0. 2 minus 3 will be negative 1 times b will be negative b. So our b will be equal to negative 1. Now we let s to be equal to what? s to be equal to 3. Uh, s to be equal to 3 to find the value of a2. So our 1 will be equal to a. Any place we see s here, we put 3. So 3 minus 2 plus b, 3 minus 3. 1 will be equal to 3 minus 2 is 1. So 1 times a will be a. 3 minus 3 is 0 times b will be 0. So our a will be equal to 1. So our a is 1, b is equal to negative 1. We just have to it here to get this. So we substitute the value of a and b into that. You get 1. So in place of a, we put 1. 1 over s minus 3. Then the d is minus 1, so negative 1 over s minus 2. So we can say that, look at this. This is our partial fraction, is equal to 1 plus this. And this is what we resolve to become this form. Then we can say that our s squared minus 5s plus 7 all over s squared minus 5s plus 6 is equivalent to 1 plus 1 over s minus 3 minus 1 over s minus 2. So, the integral of s squared minus 5x plus 7 all over s squared minus 5x plus 6 dx will be equal to the integral of 1 plus 1 over s minus 3 minus 1 over s minus 2 dx. This is a very interesting one. So, we integrate this term by term. When we integrate 1, we we'll get x. When we integrate this, it will be lean. Absolute value of x minus 3. Then this will also be lean. So, minus lean. Absolute value of x minus 2. 
then plus our constant of integration. So remember when two logarithms are subtracting with a common base, we just divide. So s plus lean s minus 3 over s minus 2 plus our constant of integration. Then this becomes the integral of this function. Of this function. I hope you get that. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel to grow it and click on the notification bell. So that anytime I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. We end it here today. Until we meet again on calculus. Bye-bye.